Hey guys! Today I wanted to talk about the importance of understanding and recognizing our self-worth and how vital that is, how critical it is in life in general, but specifically the workplace. So I had to learn this really, really hard lesson years ago. It was 2008. The market had just tanked. So at this exact same time, Darren decided to go back to school. And so he was only working 30 hours a week instead of 40. So not only did I need to supplement the income that I made, but I needed to supplement his as well so that I could get him through school. And I went to find a new job. So there was a clinic that was by my house. Um, so really, really awesome. If you know me, you know that I hate to drive and it's probably best for everyone if I stay off the road. So uh, yeah, I'll chalk it up to not fulfilling my driving hours before my license. Thanks mom and dad decided to go look for this job and I got an interview. The interview was fabulous. I interviewed like a champ um, and if you want to have more, um, if you want tips on interviewing, check out this video. I'll put a link below and you can read a blog post on it um, at The Soul Restored. Um, how to interview like a pro and land the job of your dreams. I was just desperate for any job. So I didn't see any red flags in the interview. There probably were some, but I didn't recognize it. But the first day on the job, I walked in and there were all these women there, uh, just like normal, like they were supposed to be, but they were all talking about other women with no discretion, no secretiveness, no, um, uh, not a care in the world that I am walking into this for the very first time, not needing to know any of the office gossip, but they are openly sharing it all and just being super judgmental and mean spirited about their other coworkers. And I don't even know who these people are, but immediately I already have an idea, <clears throat> excuse me, of what these women think of them. That is seriously the worst way to start a job. So immediately, I had a trauma response. Immediately, I shut down. I knew that it was not safe for me to be authentic, to be honest, to be myself. Um, I knew that it was like a super scary place that I would be judged by these women that are ruthless and mean. And sure enough, that was a major red flag, fireworks, these people are pretty awful, that uh, showed how the rest of my experience would be working at that job. So I was there for a year and a half, and the entire time I was there, it was literally the worst job that I ever had. I had a coworker that rarely showed up for work and when she did I don't even I don't even know what she did I don't know what she did she sat on her hands and picked her nose all day as near as I can tell I don't even know what she did she was the worst rather than fire her like they should have they just allowed for that natural thing to happen because heaven forbid we you know hold people accountable for not doing their job and taking home a paycheck anyhow um, so that was that then I had other coworkers. Um, during this time, I was going through my eating disorder counseling where I was learning how to love myself for me and not dependent on my weight or what I ate. And I was gaining weight because I needed to because I was at an unhealthy um, low weight and wouldn't eat um, very much. And when I did overeat, I was eating overeating like healthier things and was afraid to eat certain foods. Anyhow, had gained weight and a coworker actually told me that I needed to buy new, new um, scrubs because I didn't look good in my other scrubs and that I shouldn't be wearing the size that I was wearing and she told me that I was fat. So pretty much pretty damaging to someone that has an eating disorder and someone that already, yeah, has my history and uh, whatever. But the, the 
long and the short of it is this job and these co-workers were some of the most toxic, abusive, unhappy, unkind, messed up people. And rather than try to work out their own issues, they were bringing down other people. And I wasn't the only one that it happened to. It happened to um, plenty of other people. But it was like they ganged up like a bunch of giddy schoolgirls and made fun of um, me or, or whoever else was on their radar. And uh, were such victims, they felt super sorry for themselves, hated their job, complained about everything, didn't work for, hard for anything. And so it just was really the worst environment that I have ever had in a workplace. And the result of working around those type of people, it was, it was humbling because it was, like I said, during my eating disorder counseling. And so I was in a super vulnerable position. It was extremely painful, extremely difficult, but I was able to rise above that and recognize even despite being amongst all these super toxic people, I was able to recognize that I really have worth. And that despite who's around me and how they are treating me or how they act in their own lives, that that doesn't have to affect me. You know, it's it's a tender mercy. It was a total blessing because I was actually fired from that job, which is so bizarre. Basically, I asked my boss, you know, why is this happening? And she was bawling her eyes out. Bawling her eyes out. And she was like, I... She, she started to tell me, and the manager interrupted her and said, I'm sorry, we don't have to tell you that. We can't tell you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that there's something very wrong and not okay about that. Uh, so I don't know how it happened, but what I believe happened was just God saying, you don't need to take this anymore. Like, move on. Recognize your self-worth. And it was such a blessing because then I went to a job with phenomenal coworkers. Phenomenal. That built me up. That helped me to heal that supported me through different struggles that I had um, with Darren that um, were so loving and so awesome. And yeah, they were just phenomenal and really helped me to love myself more and feel good about myself. Um, so yeah, God works in mysterious ways and sometimes it feels super painful but really he's got it all covered and he's watching over you and he knows what's best for you but when you are in a workplace that you are not feeling good about yourself when you're questioning other people around you if they're if they're not recognizing your talents and abilities move on move on find someone else that does and you surely will Go into a place being confident. If you walk in those doors and you're like, holy cow, this place isn't for me. I can see red flags all over the place. Don't get into that desperation trap. Do not feel like this is the only job. So don't say to yourself, this is the only job. This is the only one that's going to hire me. This is the only one that's going to pay me this much. This is the only one that um, is with my degree or with my licensure or whatever. No. Find a job somewhere else. Find a job somewhere else. You need to love what you're doing enough that you don't care about the people or you need to love the people well enough that you don't care about what you're doing. And if you get the best of both worlds, heck yeah. And I'm, I know you can find it. And if you can't find that job, then create that job. You can form a business. You have all of the tools at your disposal to be able to create anything that you want with your life. And you need to do it with full purpose and confidence. And do not surround yourself with people that are going to tear you down and make you feel less than and question who you are and your abilities. 
you know who you are. And if you don't know, then you need to be getting on your knees and talking to God about who you are. And he will remind you of your worth and how much he loves you and what you have to offer the world. Don't question that. Love yourself. Recognize that your self-worth is the most important thing. And once you've got this worked out and this worked out, everything else will work out. Thanks, guys. See you later.